So what's your plan to take this podcast to the next level, you know, in an expedited fashion? Um, it's really my my strategy. I love to do organic strategies to be honest. I like guerrilla marketing. Um, one thing I've learned is the truth needs no rehearsal. So people spread good information, you know, and by adding quality and valuable information, last year we did over 200,000 streams. Um, and this year we're looking to do over a million. And it's more so just about consistency. When you're building any brand, you know, you want to be in people's lives daily because a media channel is just that, a media channel, the same way TV. You have to constantly be in people's lives so they're giving them something to tune in, tune in, tune in. So if I want people to subscribe, then I have to be there to update them. When I used to sell weed, and I was consistent with it. My customers always came back to me because every time they think about smoking weed, guess who they come to? They can come to Kitties. Now, that day that I don't have weed, guess what they do? They go look for a new weed, man. Now, once they get to this new weed, man, he give them their number. He might hook them up with an extra fat sack just to make sure that he actually able to have that customer come back to him. So now I possibly lose the customer because I messed up and I wasn't consistent. And people's attention are very fickle. So you have to constantly be able to provide people that high necessary in order for them to stay um, tuned in to your channel. Now, the high that I give you is high vibrational information. You understand me? This is different. So I no longer sell weed. I have CBD, which comes from the hemp oil, but, but that's a little different. But just speaking on consistency that everybody needs to have within their brand, every day you get up, like Nipsey said, you run that marathon. And you have to constantly update yourself to make sure you're utilizing the best tools so that you can be effective. You understand me? When you talk about aggregate efficiency, you're talking about the potential that you could be getting out your product, your service, your business, your actions. But how do you raise your aggregate efficiency? You understand me? How do you put 100 hours in and it actually gives you the potential of 50 to 60% return on the energy that you put out? There's too many people that work hard, but they don't get as, as much as uh, productive return as someone else that they see kind of do a little less than them. Why? Because it's not about hard work, it's about smart work. You understand me? It's about the creative capacity that you have. See, it's a difference between the knowledge and the smarts. You understand me? Smarts is knowing how to utilize that knowledge in the best capacity. You understand me? So you don't want to just be a knowledgeable person because there's a lot of knowledgeable people who aren't smart because they don't know how to move. You understand me? You see knowledgeable people everywhere on Instagram and things of that nature, and they can't pay their bills, but they got all this knowledge. But then you see the smart people. See, they might not have time to be thinking about how can I sound the smartest on Instagram, but they think about how can I move the smartest in real life. And see, these two things are different. So with your brand, if you want to become effective and not just efficient, efficient is doing the thing you're good at. Effective is doing what's most important. So how do you do what's most important to constantly raise your productivity levels? For one, you need to study your analytics. You need to study your own moves and what your brand is. You have to listen to the customer feedback. See, somebody asked me the other day, said, dude, how do you deal with all the comments and things of that nature on your feed? Do you actually read them? I said, yes, because I want to learn what my brand is. See, you market what you want your brand to be, but your brand becomes what other people perceive. I can sit here and tell you I'm the greatest speaker on the planet Earth, right? That's me marketing myself. But if you walk away and say, 19 Keys is the greatest speaker on the planet Earth. That becomes my brand. So when you market your product, how is it actually being perceived? What is your brand identity? Is it a smart brand? Is it dumb, ignorant? What is it? See, a lot of times we don't take these times to study our market. And we think we can just jump in there and let things go chaotically and it's going to work ourselves out. It's not how it works. Every day you should be updating yourself so you can make sure that you're doing the best possible to get the greatest results.